You had mentioned that there was an incident where uh, OG Bulldog and Hot Rod had eventually had got into it with Ray Boyce. Well, I come to find out that 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 is not so true because Hot Rod wasn't even there. I did my research. The rumor on the streets was, before AC wrote his book, was that Bulldog and Hot Rod, original Crip uh, from Raymond Crew, uh, post that confronted Ray Boys, and they rushed him and Hot Rod got knocked out. But when I did my investigation, I found out that Hot Rod wasn't even there. So that was the main thing right there, was Hot Rod was the key puzzle. So if they would've said Hot Rod got knocked out or Hot Rod was there, then that would've been the, the evidence right there, because I already knew about Hot Rod. I've been knowing about this uh, incident, dealing with Bulldog and Ray Boys, all the 70s just about, you know, because uh, Ray came out with a, with a little legend under his belt. Not him talking about it, but other people talking about it through the prison system and through the county jail system and things of that nature. Now, is there anything you wanted to say about the first Crips that went to prison and, and, the, and the, the relationship with the BGF at that time? Well, uh, back in, the, back in the, the early 70s and mid-70s, uh, the, the, the black structure was, 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 was the only thing that they had to fall back on because uh, uh, it's just like the Bloods, man. You know, when, when you have a powerhouse going against you, you have to have unity, man. You know, you have to have unity with your own people. You have to wake up, man, and realize that uh, 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 united we stand and divided we fall. I don't use that as a slogan. I use that as reality. I would fight uh, uh, an individual uh, who is my worst enemy uh, I would go uh, with an enemy against my worst enemy if if that's what it takes for me to survive. I, I because for the simple fact, it's about surviving. It's about it's about strategy. And then they got some people like this. Okay, uh, man, you can go on a mission together. If we go, even if I don't like you, but once I get rid of that person, I'm gonna deal with you next. So people have strategy, man. You know, they, they have hidden agendas, brother. And you have to be aware that, you know, sometimes your agenda is not always go hand in hand with those who call yourself homeboys and friends. Because, man, the unknown is very frightening, man. Uh, you mentioned uh, Neil Matthew. Joe Barker, Patricia Winbush. No, that was just a picture. Oh, that's the photo. That was just a picture. Yeah, this is a. I'm, I'm going to leave you some some pictures to post up anyway. And that's that's a photo yeah. in the Nixon Garden. Yes, that's, that's back in 1974. Okay. That's 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 the homies, right there. Yeah, I wanted to speak on us. So, so Joe Barker's the one with the sunglasses on. Yes, that's Joe Barker with the sunglasses on. With his arm around. With his arm around her. The yeah. girl. Okay. Yeah, and that's Hank kneeling down, and that's Pistol Pete throwing up the B. See that B right there he throwing up? Yeah. That's not blood, that's Bonnie Hunter, yeah. okay? 1974, okay, on the streets, all right? So that's just to show you, there was no bloods on the streets. They was, you know, they was in jail, brother, you know, again, because we throwing up the B right there again. Yeah, so this is, uh, but, but at YTS, they, when they, yeah, the YTS, yeah. Just starting. Yes. Now, it, yes. when did you see blue rags because apparently uh, Buddha from the west side wore blue rags. He was killed in 74. All the Crips went to his funeral and wore blue rags in, in memory of him and I guess it stuck. Yes. Um, so, but that's 74. Do you, had, did you ever see Crips with blue rags before 74? I seen them during 74 when I checked in lock high. They all knew who I was, and they used to take their blue rag out and wipe their mouth with it right in front of my face to let me know they was Crips, because they knew about me, but I didn't know about them. So a lot of them was kind of like playing head games with me. They have a handkerchief fold up in like a little square, and then they'll wipe their mouth with it right in front of my face. And I used to kind of like, I didn't know what it meant, but as time went on, I said, oh, okay, they were cripping in front of me. I didn't know why they were wiping their face with a blue rag. Well, actually, I have him, he may have been killed in 73, um, Buddha. Buddha was the, the dude that, he wore a blue rag just because he liked it. Yeah, I heard about him. So when he got killed in 73, everyone started to wear it in memory of him. It wasn't on no like, yeah, okay. gangster thing. No. It was just, oh, let's, let's uh, remember Buddha. But... That means if Buddha was wearing a blue rag in 73, that means other Crips may have been wearing it too, but it wasn't widespread. 
Well, they said the brim was wearing blue rags back then, and it stand for the B. So how that's, how that's going to be possible? How are you going to be bloods if you got a blue rag? Come on, that don't make sense. Well, yeah. well I think in, in 73, it, there was no... It was no order to it, right? That's my point. So how are you going to be a blood if, how are you going to claim blood with a blue rag? It's not, it's impossible. In, se- in 1972, you can claim, not. you can claim anti-crip. Yeah. But not blood. You can claim anti-crip. Blood is a color, brother. What color is blood? Yeah. What color is blood? I hear what you're saying. Okay. So if blood is red, okay, what color is the red bandana? It's a puzzle, brother. Bring it together. Okay. That's not hard to figure out. Now, one and one is two. You guys would buy these these bandanas at the local liquor store. Exactly. Right? Now, at the liquor store, did they have different colors like black, yes, white, yeah. they had yellow. all yes, yes. Did anyone wear those other colors? Sometimes? No, everybody was wearing the red because they knew it was versus the Crips. That's all it was. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.